Hey, what's up, everybody? Video 44 coming at you another video. All right, so the Detroit Pistons and the Minnesota Timberwolves come to the conclusion that a deal is necessary. Uh, Shake Milton, Troy Brown, uh, a second round pick headed to Detroit for Shake Milton. Uh, I think it was something else that was on that deal, too. Shake Milton, Troy Brown, second round pick. Yeah, maybe that was it. Maybe that was it. <laughs> Sorry, I should have came more prepared. I made a video earlier before I went into the store telling you guys that the second round pick went to uh, the Minnesota Timberwolves, but they were actually sending the second rounder out. So it changed the entire uh, opinion about the deal, to be honest with you. I thought it was great if it was that only. But since it's not, and all of that stuff is going to Detroit, I think it was very safe to say Detroit won the deal. Monte Morris is a nice player fresh off injury though and he's not overly nice to where i'm giving up troy brown shake milton and a second round pick if i'm minnesota that's just that's not what i thought it was going to be and when i when i made the video i was so happy with the video and then it turns out no nah, that's that's not what it was I, I hate this for minnesota because i don't think monte morris is that especially off injury but even with out injury i don't think he's that they could use a backup point guard but troy brown is a nice young piece Jake Milton is a nice piece. The second rounder, I could argue they need the flexibility more than most teams do. So they shouldn't be sending draft equity out. They should be wanting to acquire it. So this is just backwards as hell, if you ask me. I don't I don't hate Monte Morris. I think he's good for 5-5-5. Five, five, and five. That's what I call him, 5-5-5 five, five, and five guy. That's what I call him. Because most of the time when I see him, statistically, that's what he's giving you. Five points, five rebounds, five assists. Those five assists can be very strong. But... You know, five points, five rebounds. Nice backup point guard. Minnesota, you probably should be the ones taking back the second rounder in that situation, sending out Troy Brown and Shake Milton, because I think Shake Milton's probably the best player in the deal. <laughs> Shake, Shake Milton is the best player in the deal. So the fact that you're sending Shake Milton out tells me that maybe his contract wasn't favorable or some Troy Brown, maybe they didn't like the contract. Maybe that's what made it cost what it was. So. I really don't know if it's a bad deal based on the fact that if it's a bad contract attached to Shake Milton or something like that, then that makes sense why they would want to uh, add some, some 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 equity to that. Maybe Monte Morris's contract is amazing and that would make it make more sense. But if you're not looking for flexibility, if you're Minnesota, uh, I don't really understand what you're doing. So that's what it would have to be in order for me to like this deal. Monte Morris' contract has to be absolutely just amazing for me to think that this is a good deal for Minnesota. Detroit, I like it. Because Troy Brown is a nice piece. I had him on my Laker team last year. I call him the professional jogger, but he's young and he's developing properly. He's, he's long-armed, uh, good size to defend certain players. He's getting better by the second. I don't expect his upside is better than role player, but he's a damn good role player. You know what I mean? He's one of those kind of guys where you're happy to have him as a young piece. So you're really going to like him when he's 27, 28 years old. So for me, I like Troy Brown a lot. Um, even though I don't expect him to do much of a jog a lot of the time which in theory is horrible but when you consider his length and his size he just helps you match up well with people so i think i think detroit's gonna like having him on the floor he helps stretch the floor uh shake milton is a nice piece a good player played well with the philadelphia 76ers i'm not sure how he did with minnesota but considering that uh detroit's just trying to upgrade their overall rotation uh, I like what they've done today. And bringing in a second round pick for Detroit is good. Uh, gives them a little more flexibility. Gives them something else to use in trade. So I like that deal for them. And I think Detroit's done a great job. So far, they've won the trade deadline. You know, for me, I'm a fan that likes all types of transactions and stuff like that. I'm, I'm not going to sit up here and say these are exciting transactions. But if you're a Detroit Piston fan, uh, you like what you've done today a lot. You like a lot of what has happened there. Maybe you didn't love getting rid of Kevin Knox, depending on what you thought of him, but bringing in Shake Milton, Simone Fontesio, a second round pick, and Troy Brown uh, is great, especially when you consider your circumstances, uh, that you have such high level young players, but need the spacing, uh, the floor spacing to make it make sense, and could upgrade some of the role players that you've been forced to use over the course of the half of the season. Some of them role players have not been very good for them. Today, I can argue they picked up some good role players. So, you think the team just comes together and make a bit more sense right now with more shooting, uh, solid upside with role players? 
that are not going to be taking anything away from those young stars and the ability to kind of not have a team that you need to either get better right away but not somebody to expect to lose another 27, 28 games in a row. So I like what the Detroit did today. Nothing too too serious. Around the margins, good value deals. And you're losing Kevin Knox. You're not too crazy about losing Kevin Knox, but you love the fact you're bringing Detroit Brown. I could argue he's probably a slight upgrade from Kevin Knox, depending on what you're looking for. Uh, looking at Shake Milton, you like him. He's somebody who can kind of come into your situation and, and, and play at a high level. Uh, as a role player uh, so you just, you know Monte Morris going out he's coming back from injury so you didn't have Monte for very long so the fact that you got this type of return for Monte I could argue is a home run so you know I like what they did today man they're winning the trade deadline so far and you feel good about the market opening up, opening up from here with three deals being done today and us still having 24 hours or so before the trade deadline is complete so good day for Detroit Minnesota you know, I have to see the contracts to make uh, an educated guess. But unless those contracts look good, unless Monte Moore's contract is great or Shake Milton's contract is bad or Troy Brown's contract is bad, I think this was a move they probably shouldn't have made. But then again, with what we're seeing in the NBA these days, you scratch my back, I scratch yours. For all I know, Cade Cunningham gets traded to Minnesota three years from now. You know what I mean? And then that'll make this kind of deal make a little more sense to me. Because that's the kind of stuff you're seeing in the NBA these days. This Tillman deal, as I was telling you guys earlier, felt like a carryover from the uh, from the fact that Marcus Smart ended up going to Memphis. That kind of thing, you know what I mean? It's just it's just how the NBA works. So this looked like a favorable deal for the Detroit Pistons. They needed somebody to do them a favor, and I felt like the Minnesota Timberwolves possibly did that for them today in making this particular deal. So that's pretty much my point of view, man. Not bad, Detroit. Not bad at all. Video 44. Thank you all for watching. I'm out.